This Tennessee walking horse was not gating at all the first day of the clinic. This is day three. The first two days we rode in the arena, and this day we are working on the gate. So here he goes back and forth between the trot and the pace, which is, in my opinion, a good thing. So whenever the horse is pacing, we ask him to drop his head and he hits a beautiful gait. And then if he starts trotting, um, I actually pull gently up on the reins and ask him to gait. Uh, now, in this case, this horse was pretty happy to keep going down the road, so I actually let him keep going um, for a little while. When he comes back, I want you to notice uh, the bit. I'm riding him in a rockin' S raised snaffle. Mark Rashid, or Mark Rashid, developed this bit. Um, I've used it at quite a few different clinics on these horses, and they've done so well. Now here, this horse just went from pacey to being trotty to being pacey again, very quickly. Right there, he's getting kind of a nice gait. Um, notice how nicely he drops his head. And there he trots for a couple steps. And there he starts gating. And his gait is very, very nice. Uh, and you'll notice that when he starts gating, I will give him a loose rein. And you'll see that more as he gets a little bit better throughout this. Um, this horse uh, both paced and trotted when we first started. Some of the things I did were, were just working on getting him to drop his head when he went faster, because he liked to put it up. And then as soon as he trotted, I would ask him to raise his head. Now you'll notice I'm stopping, I'm petting him, I'm letting him rest. That's a big part of how I train, is giving the horses a chance to stop and relax. Now this horse, at the beginning of this lesson, didn't want to stand still. So the other thing that's important is if, it's, if he doesn't want to stand still, that's okay. I would just let him keep walking. I didn't make him uh, stop and stand for a long time because it was making him uncomfortable. So I said, okay, we'll just walk forward. There's no big deal. But if your horse is willing to stop and stand, let them stop and take a break. Notice how Lowell put his head. Um, part of that, some of the training I did, but then also his owner did a great job getting him to where he is, uh, getting him this calm. That's a really nice gait there. Very, you know, it's a slow, but um, he's still fighting a little bit. But as soon as he'll gait, I'll give him that loose rein. You can watch the tail bobbing a little bit as it's a very nice gait. Again, a lot of people will go, well, that's really slow. Yes, it is. Don't worry about it. When you first start, you need, need, need to keep it slow. Now, you need to have impulsion. You need to have your horse willing to move forward off your leg, but you also need to keep it slow. Um, and as your horse gets better, and this might only be a week or two, you can get a lot more speed. Um, what I'm looking for is an even four-beat gait on a loose rein. Uh, preferably with a low head, but he's doing that all very nicely on his own. Now you'll see me make little changes as he starts trotting. I may lift the reins a little bit if he starts pacing. I'll ask him to drop his head, but he maintained a beautiful gait there. I mean, that was just amazing. Uh, day three of a horse that was not gating at all, mostly was pacing, but would trot occasionally. It was just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And that's what we're, we're looking for. Again, I ask him to stop and stand. If he wants to stand still, I'll let him. If he wants to move around, I'll also not. I'm not going to fight with standing still today. We're not working on standing still. We're working on the gait. So whenever you work with your horse, make sure you stop and rest frequently. Now, since I'm doing a clinic, I'm kind of on a time crunch, and my goal is to get this horse gating. Uh, normally, I would do more stopping and resting at home. Um, but again, so a little bit, a little bit toward the trot. So I'm not letting him put his head down too much. But also, you'll notice that the reins do go loose uh, when he's when he's gating well. There he's trotting. You'll see me raise my hands. Again, I'm not trying to jerk on the bit, but I'm trying to lift his head up. All right, now take a look at this part. I'm going to slow it down in just a minute. We're going to come back, and this horse is going to trot, and he's going to do a little bit of a pace, and you're going to see me lift my reins if he's trotting, ask him to drop his head if he's pacing. He kind of goes all over with his feet, but then he hits a nice gait, and we'll watch that in slow motion in just a sec, and notice that I do loosen up my reins. So there he's pacing, trot, 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 now we hit a nice gait. Uh, here you can see it in slow motion. I slow him down. And you can see that one, two, three, four footfall there. And you notice that I'm not holding the reins tight. I'm kind of giving him little, little changes, but then I'm going to loosen the rein. He was kind of speeding up because we were going home. There's the loose rein. There his head came up a little bit. I said drop your head. He did. Loose rein. Right now he gets pacey because his head comes up, but we're going to slow him down, ask him to drop his head, and he'll get right back in the gate. Here we see the owner riding her horse. Again, that's just a little bit after I was riding that you just saw. 
So here, going away from home, she was struggling a little bit, so we're just walking. But she's pushing the walk a little bit faster, and the horse is getting into a little bit of a flat walk, which is great. And you can tell because his head is going up and, up and down in time to the rhythm of his feet. He's also walking a little bit faster, a little bit bigger, uh, with that head nod. Um, and then she's going to turn around and head toward home, and we'll see her ask him to get into a nice, slow gait here. So at first, uh, she's got to kind of work with him to be not be too pacey, but then he starts doing a beautiful, beautiful gait here. It's really nice. She has to make sure that his head doesn't come up. Um, and as, when it does, she asks him to drop his head and get into that nice little gait. And you can see his head's up, it's up, it's up. And when she keeps asking, and as soon as he drops it, he hits that beautiful gait and she gives a loose rein. And that's exactly what we're looking for. This Tennessee Walking Horse mare I got to work with at the clinic that I did in September. Uh, came back in November and worked with her this time. Last clinic, we didn't get her gating quite. We got almost there. We got her to relax a lot more and her owner was able to keep working with her on getting her to drop her head and relax and stay calm and made a lot of progress since I was there. And so we were able to work with her and get this nice gait. Now, this mare is very pacey. Like, you almost never get any trot out of her. <clears throat> so with her, she came, she was much more nervous, excited, high-headed, um, and her owner kept working with her and got her to be a lot calmer. That wasn't me, that was the owner working with her. She uh, got this mare to be relaxed and calm, so I'm just continuing the work trying to get a nice gait. So um, the mare tended to be a little bit pokey today while I'm riding with the crop. Since she's pacey, I continue to ask her for her to drop her head. Um, uh, we're using the Rockin' S Snaffle again. The owner actually bought this after we used it on her in the last clinic. Notice how high her head is. It's a little bit higher than I like, so I'm asking her to drop her head and bring her nose in. Um, if she brings her nose in, I will release the reins. Um, she is giving us a fairly nice gait, but it's a little bit toward the stepping pace. Um, I'm looking for her to drop her head. She was keeping a pretty good gait, so I want to give her that break. I want to stop and praise her, because that's a big part of how I train, is giving the horses a chance to stop and think about what we're working on. This seems to help them very, very much learn to make progress in a short amount of time. Again, we do these clinics, and it's three days, and I work each horse for an hour. And there's, you know, that's only so much time to get, but we make such huge progress because we stop and let the horse take a break. We keep the horses calm. Hopefully they're even calmer when I'm done uh, riding on a looser rein. Uh, let's see what she does when I go next. You notice I am stopping and letting her rest, which is what I teach. And it is a big part of getting the horses to understand what you want. Okay, as we continue the lesson... Again, I'm trying to keep the horses calm, relaxed, and a fairly slow gait. Again, this mare is fairly pacey. Now there I like how she dropped her head nicely there. Now notice I gave the loose rein there. Ask her to drop it, loose rein. Drop it, loose rein. Drop the head, and then loose rein. Uh, again, I don't want to let her go too fast. So while I'm riding, I'm, I'm watching head position, and I'm watching speed. Uh, I'm using my legs to go faster. I'm using my reins to slow down or drop the head, you know, along with my seat, um, which I'll be talking about in a future DVD, how you can use your seat to affect the gait. So coming back, she's got a nice gait here. I'm still asking her to drop her head, and I'm still asking her to stay nice and slow. But it is a beautiful gait. When I first got on this mare, I wasn't sure that I'd be able to get this gait because of how pasty she was, but the foundation was there. There she's a little pacey, and whatever she gets pace, I'm asking her to give her nose and drop her head. That was a very, very nice bit of gating. We're going to go back and see if we can hear that and watch that in slow motion. Uh, you can see she's still going there. She's getting pacey, and she got a little bit distracted there, but I'm not too worried about that. That'll come with time. I'll stop and let her rest, and uh, I'll go back and let you see that again. Now we'll watch that one more time, but as you listen, you'll notice it's not quite perfectly even, but very, very close. All 
All right, here again, a little bit, a couple minutes later, uh, now we're seeing a more even gait. Now, again, notice how slow it is. This is very important. You need your horse to go slow enough that they can maintain a gait. When they go faster, they tend to be unable to hold it quite as well. Also, you do need to have enough impulsion that you're getting a gait, but you need to make sure your horse is going slowly first. You can always add a little bit of speed using your legs to go forward. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm asking her to drop her head, asking her to go forward with my legs. We've got a very nice, even time, and in a minute I'll let you hear what it sounds like. It's more even than it was earlier. Um, we're continuing to have to ask her to drop her head like that. That was really nice. But anytime she gets pacey, I'm asking her to drop it even more. So you notice to me that her head looks kind of high. I don't mind if that's where, if she's gating there, but otherwise I would like it a lot lower. This uh, Pasifino mare was particularly fun to work with. She was super sensitive, um, and you really need to be a good rider uh, to ride her. Initially, her owner said that they had a hard time stopping her, couldn't ride her on a loose rein. Now, they've been working with her and gotten her a lot better, but she still would rush when she felt pressure. Now, she's being ridden in a bitless bridle, which I totally approve of. And I started riding her, like, totally on a loose rein. Now, she's a Pasifino, so she can pace and trot. She likes to keep her head high, and I'm in favor of getting your horses to drop their heads a lot. So I started riding her, asking for her to drop her head. Now, as I expected, when she dropped her head, she'd start trotting, which I am perfectly fine with to start with. So the first day was spent um, working on getting the mare to trot uh, on a loose rein with her head down, and she started doing that wonderfully. Um, and I just worked on that. We worked on, she started turning off of my body language. You can see how calm and relaxed she is. The owner said this, she never would walk like this on a loose rein. Away from home, away from her buddies, it would be speeding up. Um, I would uh, ride very carefully. I would re ride very forward when I wanted her to trot and drop her head. But they said she was already so much better. Forget the gate. The second day, uh, this is day three, but the second day I started, I got her to drop her head while she was trotting. And then I started working on the gait. Now to do this, since she would usually trot, I would lift her head up, just like I talk about, gently. Um, get a few steps of gait, and then immediately ask her to trot and drop her head. Because I don't want her to think that she has to have her head up. Um, and I wasn't asking her to gait fast, I wanted her to gait slowly. Again, slow, you have to start with slow. So the mare did really, really well on uh, day two, and so uh, I almost didn't even ride her on day three because the owner had her gating so well, but she's so fun to ride. I was thrilled to have this opportunity to ride this mare. So I'm about ready to start asking for the gate. Um, I'm going to ask her to drop her head, but it's got to be smooth, and this mare can have a beautiful smooth gait, um, but I don't want her to keep her head up too much. So here, bear in mind, when you're asking your trotty horse to lift their head up, it's temporary. We want them to drop it down a little bit later, but we're asking them to drop their head well and, and or we're asking when we're asking when they're trotting, we're asking them to lift their head up to break that trot up, but we don't want them to leave their head up. So I'm asking for the gate. If she's trotty, I'll lift her head up, but notice how quickly I am to re I am releasing. And as soon as she hits a smooth gait, I totally release. There. There. Very nice. And you can see my hips. I'm just riding along there. Now, again, I would love to see her head a lot, lot lower. But this is the very beginning stages of training this. Again, it is super important to let your horse stop and rest. It is super important to ride on loose reins. Again, I don't train show horses. I train for the trail. I train them to be calm and relaxed. Um, I want this horse to gate on a loose rein. That's my ultimate goal. Uh, again, that's why I'm stopping and letting her stand. Let's skip ahead to when I start asking for the gate again. Again, I want to point out as I'm asking her to gate, notice how slow I'm asking her to go. Notice how little I'm using the reins. It gets less and less as she maintains a gate and I allow her to gate. Again, that head is way too high. It's a very smooth gate. Um, and I would like to see her, uh, put her head down more in gait. That'll come with time. Um, also, and you notice how I'm sitting. Part of that is how the saddle is putting me in that position with my legs very far forward. Um, the saddle was sliding around a lot or I would have dropped the stirrups totally. 
Um, but that's not an ideal way to ride. I want to ride with my legs underneath me, which you'll see in, in the other saddles, I do ride that way. So notice I start at the walk, loose rein, that's important. And then I'll ask her to gate. She's very sensitive, so just a little cluck. You notice very little touches on the reins. I'm not holding her in gait. If I need to slow down, I'll pull, and then I always release. The biggest thing with a lot of gated horse owners with horses that go fast is they, they pull constantly. They never release, even for a little bit. You need to, as soon as you can, release those reins and do it all the time. And early on, you'll be doing it a lot. There, she starts. she moves more toward the trot, but I'm asking her to drop her head um, or have her gait. But anytime you have a horse that tends to be too fast, you need to release the reins more. That's the only way you're going to train the horse that you want them to slow down and you'll release the reins. Like there, she slows down and drops her head. That's what I'm looking for. So again, anytime you have a fast horse, keep releasing those reins, even if it's for a little bit and then picking them up again. Now, this big boy was fun. Um, he's being ridden in a, a small combination bit. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. Um, I think he's spotted saddle horse. He came the first day. He was trotty and pacey. He would fairly easily switch between the two. Again, this is fairly easy, a fairly easy gated horse for me to get to gate because right in between that pace and the trot is a smooth gate. Now, it can be tricky for the owners, especially if the horse is hard to tell if they're trotting or pacing. He's fairly obvious, I felt. So again, when he's trotting, we gently lift up on the reins to ask him to put his head up. When he's pacing, we ask him to drop his head, which gets the horse out of the pace. So we're going to speed him up. And by this point, he was already gating very well. So that's an almost perfect gate. So now we're just kind of asking him to maintain it. So there, he's going too fast, slow down. Uh, he is a little bit faster horse, and that was something that the owners have been working on. But it was a very nice gate, so I'm going to stop and praise, right? This is the first time we've ridden on the road. The first two days were uh, in the arena. And so if he gates, that was, you know, a good 50, 100 feet. I'm going to stop and praise. That's just wonderful. If he doesn't want to stand still very well today, again, I'm not going to fight him on that one. So he's got a nice walk. We worked on dropping the head. That's one of the things we worked on in the arena. Um, so there, a very nice gait. You notice the reins are not tight. If he goes too fast, like there, and got pacey, I'll slow him down. But otherwise, I just want him to maintain a gait, and I'll give him a loose rein. This is, he's been, he was so fun to ride. Um... Definitely needed a little bit of training in the sense that he was he wanted to put his head up when he paced, and we had to train him not to do that, and we had to train him to stay slower. Again, a lot of gated horses that I work with, the issue is uh, they go too fast. Um, so I train him to slow down, and I'll give, give him a loose rein and stop and praise. So too fast, so stay slow down. There he's trotting, so I lift up. And then I release right away. I don't hold his head up. I lift up, and as soon as he changes his gait, I release. And he was just a phenomenal gating horse. I mean, this horse was just wonderful. I can, I bet he is so fun to trail ride. It's just a beautiful, beautiful gait there. And again, only took three days. One hour session each day um, to get this. There's a big trot, and there's a nice gait again. A little bit of a trot. Lift up on the reins. Um, you know, whenever we change, like now his head's up, he's a little bit distracted, now he's pacing. So now I'm asking him to drop his head. It's all a training issue. Speeding up and trotting. We're working on getting some consistency here. He slowed down when I asked him, which I'm happy about. Um, and he didn't want to stand still too well, so that's okay. We'll just walk on. The loose rein is important. Praising them verbally is important. And early on... If you can't, if your horse isn't gating at all, you should have stopped already by now and praised him. Now, I know this horse was already gating. He was gating in the arena, so I know he can hold it this long. Um, and again, he's speeding up. We want to keep that gait slow. So nice loose reins, re reward when they're gating, praise them, keep them slow. Those all factor into getting a nice smooth gait on a loose rein.
This Missouri Fox Rider mare is really fun because this is the second time I've ridden her. She participated in the first clinic in September. Um, I was not able to get her gating. She was extremely pacey and extremely high-headed. Um, what we did uh, this time, uh, the same techniques that I usually use weren't working on her. I mean, head down was really important and we needed to work on that and um, her owner kept working on that between the two clinics. But for this mare, we needed to get her to do something different. We actually asked her to lift her shoulder or move, lift the base of her neck and move her shoulder over. So like shoulder in and then go into gait. And the results were amazing. And she started doing phenomenally. So this is again, day three. Uh, and it was such a huge change. Um, day one, we got some steps of gait. Day two, start, started getting her gating probably 100, 200 feet at times. And then day three, I wasn't sure how she'd do on the road, but she did amazing. She started gating. Um, and her owner since then has kept her gating and has gotten this beautiful gait out of this mare. Again, her head is pretty high. Um, we're working on getting her more comfortable dropping it. Um, but she's getting very, very responsive. Again, the owner did, did a great job. So there she's pacey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want her to slow her down. I'm going to ask her to move her shoulder over along with slowing down. Again, it's too pacey there. Uh, she tended to do better going toward home in this case. And at the beginning of training, I'll totally use that to my advantage. I'll walk them away from home and then gate slowly toward home. Uh, with head down and this mare hasn't been ridden out this road much so she was nervous about being down here so we kept it very very positive we put some people down there at the end that would pet her and praise her and that really helped her again if you need to do stuff to keep help keep your horse calm do it now that's a beautiful gait there i mean it's slow but it's so nice uh, in just a minute i'll play it so you can hear it and what a beautiful beautiful gait from this horse that a few days ago wasn't gating at all so just a lovely lovely transformation in a little bit we're going to look at a mare who uh wasn't gating again was very pacey would trot a little bit but wasn't gating and i tried the shoulder over um, you know, lifting the base of the neck, moving the shoulder over, didn't work at all. But what we found is the mare uh, wasn't able to really use her hind end well. So we started asking for her to move her haunches over, like haunches in or haunches out, and, and get those a little bit more mobile. And that was the trick to getting her to gait. Uh, again, I'll be talking more about these things in an upcoming DVD that I'm working on, which hopefully I'll be able to get finished in January of 2017. Um, I have a lot of uh, new footage from this year. I've been able to ride uh, almost 90 different gated horses this year through my different travels. Again, notice this mare, just a lovely, lovely gate. We're going to go back and watch that and listen to that last bit of gating. Trust me, this is just phenomenal. This rocky mare was very fun. Um, a little bit tricky again, presented some difficulties for me uh, as a trainer because she didn't fit into the usual mold. She was very pacey but would switch into the trot but had a very hard time finding that gate in between the pace and the trot. Um, she's doing a good job here walking calmly, which is something she hasn't been ridden outside a ton and she tends to be spookier, but she was awesome this weekend. Her owner's been doing a great job with her. So I, I want her to go into gait from the walk, um, but she wasn't getting it. And we asked her to move her shoulders over and she would do that easily, but it didn't help her go into gait. So what we ended up doing with this mare was asking her to move her haunches over uh, and then ask her to go into gait. Um, and again, she wants to go fast and I'm asking her to stay nice and slow. Uh, again, I want her to do a slower gait and I want the head down if the horse is pacey. Um, looking for that nice smooth gait whenever I get it, I want to give a loose rein and praise. Um, you'll see me use my leg there a little bit to ask her to move her haunches over. Uh, she was a little bit pokey. There, we were getting a little bit of a nice gait. See how the head came up and she started getting pacier? I'll keep asking her to drop her head and then I'll release there for a step and then she wants to speed up and put her head up so again we want head down and we want to praise when the mare does well so there she did really well she stayed slow responsive stop and praise
Again, we're looking for slow, we're looking for head down, I'm looking for a nice smooth gait so that I can release the reins. Um, that's pretty pacey there. I'm looking for her to move her haunches. Usually I'm asking her to move them up there. I'm probably asking her to move them uh, to the left. Or, <laughs> sorry, move them to the right. Again, when you first start working with the gated horse on the road, you're only looking for 10 to 15 feet of gait. We're not looking for 100 or 300 or a quarter mile. We're looking for a couple steps so that we can praise and reward. And uh, later on, we build that up to be longer and longer. There, we're getting some nice movement. That's very, very nice. Good. I had to show her there. She got pacey right there because her head came up. So head down is so, so important. Head down, slow gait, loose reins when you can. A couple minutes later... There you can really see I'm pushing that hind end to the left, ask her to bend to the right, and that kind of moves her a little bit diagonal so that she can hit that nice gate. And in a minute I'll have play that for you so you can listen to the footfalls. It's probably just a tiny bit pacey, but really, really nice. And we're able to get her out of that pace and into a nice gate when we need to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you in some way. If you'd like to see more videos and keep updated on my clinics, go to, go to my website, gatedhorsespecialist.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.